Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a top five video where I talk about my favorite products for transitioning into spring. This is part of a larger series called Top Five in Under Five where I share my top five favorite products in under five minutes. I'm gonna shorten it though because a lot of people have been feeling confused, some angry, mostly misled because they feel like it sh every video within the category should be top five and under five dollars for whatever that category may be. So gonna change it to top five, that way no one is confused, but I still hope to keep them around the five minute mark. So you to see more of those videos, you can click here. But in the meantime, if you want to see the products that I am recommending, loving for spring, let's get into it. So pretty much the basis for this video is, I mean, to find some great bargain products for spring, but also because with any change of season, there are always new trends that we might want to hop on, but we don't necessarily want to spend an arm and a leg on something that we know we're only going to wear for that season or maybe a few months beyond. So these are my picks to kind of tailor your makeup routine to the season, as well as rock the trend, whatever they may be. So let's get started. The first thing is la, not so much a trend, more just a necessity, especially if you are like me and you have crazy bad allergies. I am allergic to everything despite having gotten shots even. Uh, so I still need a little bit of color correcting and for that, where to go? Here it is. I recommend uh, e.l.f.'s Corrective Concealer. This for being under $5, it contains four different colors you can see here. I mostly use the green to correct any redness. During allergy season, mostly it's um, around my nose, in my cheeks as I get flushed, especially if I'm like running or active outside and really in the allergens. And then I also use the salmon here because as I don't get as much sleep, my eyes are super dry. My eye area, I just get more and more bluish purpley, uh, shadows and discoloration there. So the salmon or pink shade here really helps out with that. And then you get bonus shades in the event you need to correct with yellow and blue all for under $5. Now, the one downside to this, however, is that it really caters to a lighter skin tone. So I have to alternate, well, really one alternative for deeper skin tones. It is from City Color. It's the Perfecting Palette, but this is not under $5. So that's one downside. However, City Color in general is a very affordable brand. And so if you have a deeper skin tone, they or a lighter for that matter, they have a range of these kind of correcting palettes. And so I definitely recommend those in the event that the e.l.f. doesn't really suit your skin tone. And alternatively, there is a brand new correcting palette from Wet n Wild. This is the Coverall Correcting Palette. However, it lacks that pinky salmon shade here. You do get the green and even a white to sort of uh, lighten your foundation, I suppose, if you want to naturally highlight in that way. You don't want to shimmery highlight, you just want to lighten your foundation in areas you typically highlight. They subbed in a white for that, so it can get the job done. Once again, this is going to mostly be for lighter skin tones too, though, but it is an alternative for under $5. Next, I want to talk eyeshadow, and this is really a year-round seasonal change. Anytime you're looking for a super affordable eyeshadow, I just wanted to include these here because they are a recent find on my part. These are Stylazzi. I think I'm pronouncing that right, Stylazzi eyeshadows. I'll put actual text in the info bar below if you wanna go see. I got them from friendsbeauty.com. I actually saw these in Goldie Starling's video. She did a review of these. Um, the larger pans here are the shadows. These are from different brands, but these huge shadows are from the brand Stylazzi. They are less than $4, in fact. They're like $3.20, $3.50, something like that. All different kinds of shades, different kinds of finishes from pearlescent to matte. I have a little bit of a mix of both here and was actually wearing uh, this shadow. Doesn't look like it in the pan, but it is strikingly similar to Max Club or Max Blue Brown Pigment, that shadow in the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. It's a dead ringer for all those if you just want it in a single pan form. And it's what I was wearing a few videos back for those of you guys who asked. But basically, if you're wanting to get into some fun, funky shades, pastels are really big for spring or any shade for that matter, regardless of the season. These are some fantastic shadows given the price. Another shadow that I probably should have talked about before this because it does is more of a base sort of product, but it is totally waterproof, which is definitely necessary as we move into the warmer spring and summer months. They are the new City Proof 24 hour waterproof eyeshadows from NYC. These were in a recent April favorites video. And so naturally I felt like I had to include them here. They are under $4, I think it's like three and some change. So they definitely fit the five and under bill, but they are super pigmented, very easily blended when, when you first apply them. But once they dry down, they do not budge. Now, something I mentioned in my favorites video is that the darker shades here, they do have kind of a universal base shade that works beautifully under any eyeshadow. If you want to add some pigment or just kind of transform your shadows, they have color shades as well. I recommend you using them as bases though, because even though they say they are eyeshadows, they do kind of, even when you blend them out, they go on kind of packed 
patchy. They aren't completely opaque. You do really have to work with them and layer them up if you want that. But if you just want a very easy, quick color base that stays put throughout the day, which is absolutely necessary during the spring and summer, then these are a super affordable way to go. Moving on to highlighter, and this is not a new beauty trend, but it is an annual trend that as we go from the cooler fall winter months that are more, we look for the matte, or I personally tend to look for the matte and velveteen finishes, completely opposite in spring and summer. I want a glowy, dewy, beautiful, like JLo goodness all over my face. And so I look to a highlighter. If you don't want to break the bank, I recommend e.l.f.'s Baked Blush. This is in the shade Pinktastic. Despite being called Pinktastic though, it's really a beautiful pink pearlescent champagne. Well, it's more of a champagne highlighter with a pink pearlescence is a better way to put it. It has pink veining in here, but the base is really more champagne and it's absolutely beautiful when applied. Absolutely can't be beat. And I'm relatively new to these. I feel like I need to do an updated e.l.f. favorites because I have been trying new products from them like crazy. And I think the last video I did was like a year ago. So we'll definitely do an updated video and these will probably be in there because given the price and the consistency and the way they wear and perform, unbeatable, especially if you're looking for a new ultra glowy, dewy kind of perk up to your makeup for the spring. I do want to give an honorable mention. They couldn't technically be in this video because they're not under $5, but I'm breaking the rules. These are the ColourPop highlighters. I recently talked about these in a review. So if you want to know my more in depth about my thoughts, see swatches of the highlighters I have, please do. It's totally worth it. They're amazing, but they are $8. However, like I said, they're must-haves in my opinion. So learn more about those. You can click somewhere around here, but they were definitely worth mentioning because as far as highlighter goes, these are the bomb. Last are the lips. In general, lip colors, lip finishes are something that change pretty widely from season to season. And so these products are not so much a spring specific product, but mostly I've come back to them within my collection. So they were definitely worth mentioning because they are so budget friendly, but they give you a ton of versatility in your lip collections. They are the J Cat Beauty Wonder Lip Paints, which I first tried in an Ipsy bag and then proceeded to order a ton of them because I absolutely love them. Um, here you can ha you see I have some deep vampy shades over here, but what I would recommend doing, especially if you have, most of us might in our collection from fall and winter, get a lighter shade like this, or like I'm wearing on my lips right now, a gold shade like this, and use it to transform the lip shade you already have. This is especially going to work well if you've indulged in those liquid lipsticks that have become increasingly popular. The, sh the textures there are really going to mesh. However, something you should be aware of is that these don't completely dry down. You're going to experience some transfer with these, so if you have any of of those uh, liquid lipsticks that do dry down, these will probably affect the finish and wear time. But even though I do experience some transfer with these, the color itself lasts for ages. For less than $5, you can pick up one of these shades or multiples of these shades and use them to completely transform your lip collection and maybe rock that pastel lip that you know you're really not gonna wear beyond this spring, maybe the summer, and you only spent you know three, $3 and some change on it. All right, guys, that is it for my top five favorite products to transition into spring. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, found it useful, or at the very least, entertaining. Entertaining. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the um, info bar or info bar comments below if you if there are any other top five videos you want to see. I'm more than happy to put them on the to-do list. So once again, thanks, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.